All right, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to crop like a professional in Lightroom. So let's get started. First thing you do is come over here to the crop overlay tool in the basic panel and click that. And then you see this grid overlay on your crop or on your photo. And before we actually do any cropping, the first thing I wanna do is straighten my photo. You see I have a hard horizon line here with the ocean. I wanna make sure that that's completely straight and not at, a, not at an angle. So if I come over here to the angle tool, I can drag this slider just a little bit. And I think that's about right. If I click enter or return on my keyboard, That'll show me I have a much straighter horizon line. Now the way that I prefer to do it though, I'm gonna come back in here, double click angle, reset it. I actually like to use the tool here to come over here and in my photo, I click on one portion of the horizon line and I drag it and then I just release on the other end where I think it's pretty straight. And I release and that's it. That's a much more precise way to get uh, very straight lines or uh, straight angles in your photos. So the next thing we do is just start cropping. You can grab any of these anchor points and just click and drag until you get the crop that you want. And for me, I do like to use these overlay tools. This is the uh, rule of thirds tool. So to create more impact in this photo, what I want to do is place some of these lines and intersection points at um, some of the more prominent features of the things that I'm trying to draw viewers' attention to in the photo. So you see I've got some footprints here. I think I'm going to put one of the intersection points right on that footprint. And what that's going to do, or really close to it, it's going to make my uh, top horizon line here, or horizontal line, I'm sorry, um, pretty close to the actual horizon. It also places one of the other intersection points here in the middle of the seagrass. And uh, this other vertical line is sort of in the middle of this other bit of seagrass. So that's looking pretty good to me. I click uh, or hit enter or return on my keyboard again. And that's what my crop looks like. Now, if I want to adjust it, I just come back here and I can click and drag and, and do kind of whatever I want. Um, if I want to adjust the um, crop ratio, I can come over here and I can change this one to one. If I want something square, I can do four by five. I'm going to put it back to uh, original. And if I want to do something unconstrained, which means it's not going to constrain it to one particular aspect ratio. I just click on the lock here to unlock this, and then I can click and drag and do whatever I want to. Now the other thing that I like to do when I'm cropping is kind of get rid of some of the background distractions that you see here. So if I hit L on my keyboard, it takes me into lights out mode. If I hit it twice, it'll bring me further into lights out mode uh, where everything is completely black, and then I can drag my crop the way I want it without seeing all the other distracting things like the other parts of the photo or any of the other elements in Lightroom. It's uh, got my crop just like that. I'm curious for those of you uh, who use Lightroom, do you also use Photoshop? Um, just take the poll above and let me know. I'd be curious to know so that I can help make even better videos for you in the future. And that's it, gang. Subscribe to Schubert Photography on YouTube and check out more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.